Hi, how's everybody's Tuesday going? I hope it's gone well for you. I've had a real nice day, got home early. Just wanted to give an update on the Cyrax Homeless Saga. It's going to be part one. Today we're going to talk, uh, start out the video talking about the fencing situation. So, as I may have alluded to in the last video, or you've heard, there was some property damage done uh, by people looking for some free fencing. I've done a lot of contracting work, and this is something I do, you know, when I do contracting work for people, uh, usually when it entails working in someone's backyard. These fences were cut, or these, excuse me, these sections of fence were cut in sections intentionally. The person doing this did it to uh, uh, resell or reuse, uh, you know, in, in entire sections at a later date. I, I've seen these for sale on Facebook Marketplace for $40, $50 a section. These sections, though, are, are trash. The, these have no resale value. They're rotten. They've uh, been repaired in the past. There's a, a brace right there uh, that's been added to it. You know, that, that could also indicate that section has been cut out before and put back. This fence is trash. Uh, there's, no, there's no two ways about it. You can just also tell up here, real easy to see right there and right here, these are ornamental cuts. These are not something that retain any resale value assuming you'd even want to buy a used fence, this would not be one that people would be interested in. This is a very small section of fence. Uh, there's only five sections here in camera view, and I'm going to guess there, that's pretty much all the fence there is on the property, just separating one yard from the other. Then we also need to look at the post situation. It's a piece of shit. That's long past due to be replaced. It's got that nasty gray color to it, and it's been covered in foliage and vines for who knows how long. That that fence needed to be replaced anyway. So the, the property damage from this, in my opinion, is very limited. I guess it's more of a, a, an inconvenience having the fence gone, but as we can see just from this picture, the fencing has limited usability as all of this has a natural barrier between the homes with no visibility. So I, I'm going to just put some cautionary words out there that the the property damage to this house is very limited. I, I've put sections of fence back up in this manner numerous times. It's very easy to do. You just, you know, piece them together one at a time and they go right back up putting a single section up re replacing you know the section back where it, where it originally came from is very very easy to do and only costs a you know a couple of dollars but there is just one more key thing and i i know people probably don't care but the posts are not attached they're all still in the ground so this is not a high dollar repair. This this is more just a nuisance, a pain in the ass thing to do. I don't put much weight on this. Uh, but um, let's just get into Cyrax's update from this uh, from this morning, and let's see what he had to say about uh, this whole eviction suck. So this is Cyrax's Kick channel. He uh, he's been uploading on this more recently than his YouTube, and. There's a little bit of dead air in here. I'm going to try to skip over it, but let's get into his new update. Um, sent somebody out to my house to pick up what they thought was fencing for free. They ended up trespassing and ripping down our whole fucking fencing for our backyard. And just a little bit ago, we had some people show up that we don't fucking know that was live streaming trying to use me as content. Rolling up six deep in an RV. 
All right, so this is this is from last night, about three in the morning. And what he's referring to is there's this guy. He goes by Chicken, uh, something Chicken. I don't remember his, his channel name, but they, they go around in this RV and they 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 have they have this person personality or post persona of being hard asses, where they have shock value, shock value entertainment. Kind of think Steve O, uh, early Bam Margera stuff from the early 2000s. That's what they're shooting for. They're not really getting it. Last night, these guys showed up to Rax's neighborhood. They were in a, an old piece of shit RV. They they uh, brought with them a 12 pack for Cyrax, you know, as a, as a peace offering or gift. They uh, knocked on his door, he didn't answer. And they left him alone. They, they, the guys were frankly nervous. You know, for a group of of uh, daredevil guys, I, I was honestly shy, uh, shocked at how uh, shy they were, and how much they were scared of having the police called for them stopping by. It was really, really pathetic. I would say that their interaction was their attempted interaction with Cyrax was even more cowardly than Rax's situation. And frankly, I, if I was Cyrax, I wouldn't answer the door either. These guys are a bunch of goofballs. But they, they went by at around 11.30, 11.45 last night, and nothing happened. Marty actually ended up uh, reporting them to the police for, for driving around in the RV drunk and harassing Cyrax. So they got chased out of Akron last night, and they, they uh, wound up driving to Philadelphia overnight. So uh, that's just a little background on that incident. It's at the point to where my family cannot take this shit no more. Which is why until all this stuff settles down, I will be effectively immediately taking a break from streaming for a while until all this stuff ends. Because my family doesn't need the bullshit. I don't need the bullshit. And I want to try to live a normal life again for a while. And so all this stuff blows over. Now, I will be working on certain projects that I will be updating everybody on throughout the months. I will be doing that. Um, I actually am working on a video game that I will be updating people on. Um, I can actually say that it will be available for PC, Android, and iOS, as well as possibly on Steam. I don't know. But it will be for Android, iOS, and PC, as well as possibly Mac. I don't know. But I'm just going to stop Rex there. He's not a developer. He has no idea what, what programming is or how to do it. I've dabbled in a little bit of, of Android programming. There's a free development suite you can get from Android. It is incredibly difficult and cumbersome and complex to use if you're not versed in the material. I have a college degree. Rax didn't even graduate from high school. I'm not saying that's a determining factor whether or not someone's able to do it, but it does point to Rax's inherent inability to figure things out on his own. I'm going to give that about a 0% chance of happening. There won't ever be a game. I, w I would be impressed if Cyrax could even get a single image to, to load up in an application. That, to me, would be impressive. Th this is just not going to happen. But but uh, as we can see, Rax already screwing up what he said. He's going to stay off the internet. He's going to stop streaming. He, he He's doing that for the third time now. I want to say this is the third stream. He said the same exact thing. So th this is just a repeated line of behavior from Cyrax. But I will be working on that over the next coming months to kind of keep myself busy and get myself back into that creative flow. But guys, my family can't take this no more. My family can't handle this shit, dude. It's too fucking much. These people 
people not only showed up to my house, they were passing out flyers of me. Stating that I was a pedophile, which is slander. What these people are doing, they not only trespassed on my property, they committed slanderous acts by spreading signs around saying that I'm a supposed pedophile. Well, Cyrax, they didn't spread any signs around or they didn't bring any signs with them. The gentlemen in the RV, the, the Looney Tunes in the RV, they found pamphlets that were laminated with facts about Cyrax, pictures of him, his screen names online, laying in people's yards in the neighborhood. That's bad. That's really bad. The information was just there on the ground in the neighborhood. So some, that, that means some troll at some point took it upon themselves to go and hand out or lay flyers with information all throughout the Rax neighborhood. I'm not. Which tarnishes my reputation. And around town, I have a very good reputation around here. I have a very good reputation around town. A very good one. But now that reputation is going to be tarnished because of these flyers that these people passed around. And if you guys don't know the stream, here's the stream right here. That stream right there, you can go back and watch it. That stream shows these people passing out flyers, falsely accusing me of being a pedophile, as well as showing up to my house and trespassing on my family's property. But yet the cops won't... Walking up a sidewalk and knocking on a door is considered public access. Now that's an easement. Do anything. Like, dude, I'm 32 years old. I should be making money right now. I'm 32 years old, man. I should be making money right now doing what I love. If anything, I should, I'll be honest with you guys, if anything, I should be playing live stage shows right now. I should be, you know, building, you know, my gaming company that I started, you know, after my older brother passed. And here's the thing, Bert, I can't even get a regular job. I can't. As much as I would like to, I can't. And you want to know why? Because, let's say I did get a real job. You know what would happen? They would do to me like they did to my biological father and like they did to one of my very good friends. They would call up there and call up there until I got fired. No, man, I don't, I don't believe that. And I also, I don't believe you're qualified for any type of job that would really be worried about that. I know if he lived where I lived, I, I would totally hire the guy to do, you know, some basic ass cleaning uh, of the of the equipment I have. I, I'd, I'd let him do something like that, and I wouldn't pay him a whole lot. But I would totally, if he, you know, really wanted to work, I would, I would, I would try to help him out on that end. Taking a, a step forward requires a little bit of motivation and a little bit of help. But he he just has to try. He has put no effort out there. And he cannot dox his employer. That's something he's not getting. Nobody will know where he works if he keeps it to himself. That's just a fact. If he went and worked in, in a kitchen at a restaurant, nobody would see him. Nobody would know he's there unless he brought it up. If he went and started doing janitorial work at a hospital, nobody would know he's there unless he brought it up or the random off chance a troll saw him and this community is not large enough for that thing to be for that type of thing to be happening frequently. That that's just not realistic. City of Akron's not that big. He, he would be able to get a job if he wanted one. They 
did that to my biological father, who had a very high paying job, mind you. He ran his own business and had a very good job. Like the company wasn't technically his yet, but he was on his way to owning the business. He got fired from that and had to get a shit job that he has now. And my friend Brendan got fired from his job and had to get a new one. Why? Because they're associated with me. Well, your dad's a known sex offender. He's convicted of it. That's not slander. People probably reached out and notified the company that your dad was a sex offender. And he, he I'm going to get just go out on the limb and guess that he did not disclose that when he applied. That's a, a pretty important thing to disclose to your employer. And your your employer, depending on the state, can fire you for any reason. So if you lived where I live, Cyrax, it's a right to will uh, right to work state. So you you could be fired for having that shitty skullet. You could be fired for wearing that wife beater. You could be fired for being a felon. You could be fired for any number of reasons. Being associated with you is a pretty flimsy thing to do. And generally, when people get fired from a job, they pick themselves up and they find another one. That's not an excuse not to go looking for a job. Now imagine what these people would do if I got a job. The torture and the hell that I would fucking deal with because of these people if I had gotten a regular job. The shit they would fucking put me through. That's why I can't get a regular job. Because I would literally be risking getting fired right there on the spot that day because of these people. Let me show you guys the damage that they did to my family's property this morning. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the property damage these people have done. And Chicken Andy, if that's really you, you know what I want? I want you to go and pick up those flyers that you guys handed out and throw those away. Because those flyers are false. You are literally committing slander by doing that, man. Do you not realize that? Not to mention I have you on camera trespassing on my property. Do you not realize that that is literally a felony? Well, actually, uh, slander and libel are civil infractions. They're not crimes. They're, they're things you can sue someone. They're not even really civil infractions. They're, they're things you could sue people for. Because it's uh, it damages your reputation or business. And there has to be monetary damages to get anything out of that. And it's extremely difficult to prove libel and slander in court. Libel, I suppose, is easier because it's written. Uh, the, the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case is a really, really famous recent case of libel slander. Uh, in the case, it, it was... I believe there was a $1 award for the actual act of libel and slander to, granted to Johnny Depp. And the majority of the, I believe it was $12 million in judgment was because of lost work. And the $12 million judgment was significantly lower than the 
amount of work he had been turned down from uh, in the in the court case. This is this is a I want to say last year around this time he he deposed that there was twenty thirty million dollars of work he had lost out on. So even if so let's say Cyrax did lose out on work, odds are he wouldn't even be recompensed for the amount of work he lost out on. But as we know, Cyrax doesn't work. He gets SSDI. There is no actual tangible harm to his reputation. Oh, yes, that was, dude. Let me show you guys what these people have done to our property. 